We're still here with fracking chemical cocktail who between the breaks said I could call her fracking. You know, she is adorable, but she is a toxi. And I just got to tell you, uh, Fracky, for the last few months, I've been actually using your name, Fracking, as sort of like a way to say stuff like, oh my God, that's awful, that's fracked, or... Yes, that's a terrible misuse of my name, and we have legal action against Battlestar Galactica pending right now. Fracking does not mean frack. Fracking means frack. Fracking. Well Okay, yeah. I'll admit it. I did pick it up from Battlestar Galactica, but so you're, you're saying saying fracking is bad. Is fracking bad? That means fracking's bad. Fracking is really good. You don't get fracked enough, do you? Do I do. I, I feel in fracked right good now. Frack is what you need. I actually could use a good frack. I gotta ask you in your promo literature. You gotta got a drill sort of down thighs down below I, is that drilling fracking it's all connected so you drill as well as frack I drill to frack you drill to frack and frack to drill you yeah, frack to drill now would you frack uh, just about anything what about an environmental journalist or am I misusing the word entirely you are so gonna get fracked Folks, I got to tell you, I've had a few calls from major industry players. Would you like to come on and be PR? Well, the problem is uh, I've always had uh, uh, scruples. And I got to tell you, they're going down the drain just like these cocktails here are going to be going down my gullet soon enough. Fracky, let me ask you. You know, you you cut quite a figure here at the Toxies and uh, everybody's getting an eyeful of you. Are you all about fracking? I'm all about fracking, and fracking is all about money. Yes, I'm all about fracking, I'm all about money, I'm all about contaminating. I really, really, really like it when I poison uh, families. Um, I have secret formulas, and my trade secrets means nobody even knows what I'm going into the water. Some families can light their fi their water on fire because of me, and, and they get really sick. And I, and I think it's just, you know, I contribute to global warming to bring this whole miserable experience to really a faster end. And water, which is so precious, he said, I waste it. And I can cause earthquakes. And I totally moonscape the environment. Like they need that little sand to be able to, to, to be able to blast into the earth. Go look at Wisconsin. I've destroyed it. Some of the most beautiful places ever. Gone. And you, you come and you're proud of this. You're yes. proud of this. Yes, I am. Okay, so you talk about these cocktails. You're, what, you got 600 chemicals in and, them. And you, what, which, like what? I like can't tell you. you can't tell me. I'd have to kill you. You'd have to kill me. Well, I happen to know that there are four radionuclides uh, in fracking chemical cocktail. I'm and hot. Well, she is hot. And so are the so are the radionuclides. Which folks, if she doesn't charm me out of remembering what I was trying to say, one of those radionuclides is iodine-131, and that's the one that we all take potassium iodide for because it is so nasty. How do you justify the use? of artificial man-made radionuclides being injected into the substrata, polluting the groundwater, and doing God knows what. Some people use a flashlight. My manufacturers use radionuclides. Whatever, lighten up. It's a tracer. They have to see where I'm going. So, so let me get this straight, Frankie. You go around the country, you tell people the kinds of things you've been saying here. Mm -hmm and you don't outrage people, you don't make people mad. I just thought they that- They get upset, but there's nothing they can do because they don't have any money. Uh, money. You know, folks- Money buys property. Farmers sell their land. People buy, can be bought off. Money, money, money. Money. Chemicals, money. You know, folks, I think this is something you ought to think about when the fracking people come around because you know what? They're not just gonna frack your land. They're gonna frack you. And, uh, See, they're happy about it. I mean, it's just amazing to me. But listen, I don't, I don't quite understand how full of yourself you are, Fracky, uh, when the fact is you have been banned in a number of places. As I understand it, the governor of North Carolina, just in the last week, has uh, not signed legislation that would make fracking legal in that state. That's not a real liberal state. You know what? When Mitt wins the presidency, he'll change all of that. He'll change all of it. So I'm not really worried about that at all. You can't ban me. You know, I'm not worried. Okay. So uh, 
I, but you are asking a lot of questions, and I'm getting ready to go now. Oh, okay. Well, l let me ask you this. Do you think it would be any kind of a, um, a conflict of interest if I, as an environmental reporter, asked you maybe to go have a drink and further discuss oh, this? Oh, I think that'd be great. I'm sure I could change your mind. Oh. Bye-bye. Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com. Third annual Toxies. We'll be seeing you.